Private flying commercial aircraft, or of course, uh, uh, very much uh, playing with uh, warbirds across the uh, uh, Dutchman. These aircraft some of the most successful uh, range of home built aircraft in the world by a very, very long way. In the making now for around about 45, 46 years, well in excess of uh, 10,000 of these aircraft. Sort of thing you can build in the backyard or in your garage and then uh, just get the truck down to your nearest airfield. Fitted with uh, 160 horsepower, four cylinder like curving engine with fixed middle of hollows. Of course, you're looking at years of experience here. These guys uh, not only just practice this, but they've got it in uh, literally in their blood a whole lifetime worth of aviation. And the smoke, uh, of course, not just uh, for aesthetics purposes, it is also a safety factor as well. When the aircraft uh, split apart, it is the best way to relocate your partner. And of course, they're not uh, the easiest aircraft to see. Um, Target turn now? Target turn now? Target turn now? Absolutely outstanding. Just look at the sheer might and power of the 16th Air Festival here in New Orleans. One of the most famous and successful Royal Air Force heavy bombers of all time. Massive legend that lived on through the work of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, of course, uh, being a tough year for them, and we think of the troubles they've been through during the course of this summer. Following on from the failed design of the Manchester, Roy Chadwick uh, put his thinking hat back on again and came up with this remarkable aircraft, which first route from Manchester on the 9th of January 1941. Imagine that uh, that was just a couple of years, of course, after the war itself started, and then Manchester a few years before that, the most popular aircraft in the World Air Force was actually the Blenheim.